All right, today we are in uh, somewhere in River Plantation, uh, way back in the back, and we are in a Harvey flood house, actually, which is a first for me since the event. Uh, we got some bees going in here by the chimney, and the problem is, I, I suspect they're probably in the floor joists that could be in the chimney, uh, but this one's gonna be a doozy because if we go inside, of course there's a nice big stone fireplace so if they are inside that part of the chimney we got some serious brickwork to do my hope i've seen this before is that they're up here in the floor joists and i can just cut the drywall that's where we're going to start anyway <clears throat> i went upstairs and looked there's a closet right here so it would be a pain in the arse to work in that closet so we're not going to do that we're going to at least we're going to try not to do that as far as going through the floor so we're going to start off trying to go through the drywall uh, worst case is we have to go through the brick, at which point, if we have to go through the brick, we'll probably go, we'll go through this because this is just a facade. I don't want to be taking bricks down out there on the chimney and then have overhead stress of bricks. I can take this off without really structure. Um, this is another bank foreclosure home. And again, it was a Harvey home. So you can see on the walls where all the mold is, there was about five feet of water in this house which I can't imagine now coming down through this neighborhood to think that all these houses have water in them. But anyway, um, fun little backstory on this job actually. I got the call a couple weeks ago and um, told him I wouldn't be able to do it for about two weeks because of the holiday. And then I got two more calls from two more people and all about the same house. And the one guy actually um, asked me, he said, oh, he said, oh yeah, I got a B problem, uh, but I already took care of it. And he wanted me to write him a bogus invoice basically so that he could uh, charge the bank for the work he had done. What he sent me was a picture of a wasp nest about the size of a golf ball in his hand. And so I told him I wasn't going to do that. I'm not going to write up phony invoices. And I'm sure happy that I didn't because then my original client called me back and said, no, there's absolutely bees. They're here. The other guy was just a moron and a fraud. So we're here today. We're going to get her done. And I'll show you what we find. Okay, so sure enough, we found them. They appear to be in the joists, or at least partially in the joists. They might be in the wall still too, but we won't know until we really cut them out. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this all <clears throat> opened up to where I can see everything that I can see in the joists. And uh, then we'll start working some combs. We'll start here on the exterior wall to try to drive the bees interior because I don't want them trying to scuttle off and hide in the chimney somewhere. So we'll, we'll actually work them towards the interior of the house because I can always open up more of the ceiling further back if I need to, if they run. Of course, they're just going to run just past the end of the combs, but I really don't want to cut into this chimney if I don't have to. So let's open it up and see what we find. Okay, we got them all opened up. Apologize for the vacuum noise. I forgot to show you guys. You can see I've already cut a few combs out. You can see where they were at. Um, so far, I'm not finding a real massive hive. Uh, I haven't found any brood yet. The, the foragers are bringing in pollen, which makes me think they might have some brood, but that may just be that's all they can find. Um, not finding a huge cluster of bees yet. Not really any aggression. Got a little cluster right there. So what I've been doing is going outside and trying to smoke the entrance, trying to push them back. And it doesn't really appear to be working, or at least I'm not seeing a big mass of bees running back, but I guess there's always a chance there just isn't a big mass of bees. Um, the guy that came and took care of the wasps, I don't know if he sprayed this entrance on the bees as well, um, and maybe killed them off somehow. He just got lucky. Um, but like I said, I'm not seeing a whole ton of activity outside or inside. Um, so I'm trying to work my way down this side so I can get in behind them and then work back out. And like I said, so far I'm not finding a ton of bees, uh, but I am finding a few. There's one calling up, you know. Um, so just vacuuming up what I see, trying to keep them contained. And uh, right now I'm just still cutting out a whole bunch of honey. It is kind of a mess because the wax is cold. Um, and so, you know, it's wanting to crumble instead of just staying intact. So I've got honey just, I got bits breaking off all over the place and the honey oozing everywhere, which is annoying. But, that's all part of it, so try to keep after it and keep it contained. So well, we've had an interesting turn of events here. I started off up there in the ceiling, and when I got back into the wall, I couldn't pull the cones up out of the wall. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. I thought, well, I better open up the wall just to <laughs> make sure. Well, I didn't really expect the header. I guess I should have with the fireplace. So I had to take off about three rows of bricks, four rows of bricks, I guess, to get down to the bottom of the header, and as soon as I did, I could see that a little bit of comb right along the bottom. So I'll keep working and look what I found. So they're all down here below the header, and it's also going to be filled up behind the header. 
in the wall. There's the cluster of bees. I probably found the bees. So my attempt to smoke them from the outside and drive them up into the cavity like I hoped, of course, isn't working. Um, but I'm going to vacuum up what I can there and like I said, just you know, try to keep their numbers down. And I'll start cutting these combs out here. And, oh dear, this just turned into a much longer job. All right, well, we found more. I got all that cut out except for that last scrap of comb. I still got to get everything that's up behind the header. And now, keep it up in that hole if you can. You can barely see it in there. Uh, but there's big old cluster of bees up there on a few calls. I'm trying to get them all chased to one central point. That's really what I'm focusing on now, trying to push everything to one corner. There's a lot of bees up in this corner, right up in here. So hopefully that's a sign that they're clustering there and the clean and up there. I don't know. I still have not found any brood. If I do, I think it's going to be right here behind the header. This was all honey down below, and eating comb, and all honey up above. There's a couple little small scrap combs over here. They're empty or appear to be empty, so I'm going to go ahead and knock those out and then start working my way uh, right to left here behind this header and try to end up in this corner with the last of the bees there. Well, that's it for this one. I did not spot the queen. Um, my plans to drive them worked. So by the time I was done, I had them all up here in this corner. Uh, there was just a couple little honeycombs over here. I never did see any brood comb or eggs, so maybe they don't have a queen. I never saw any stages of larva, none of that. <laughs> I thought was maybe they'd just shut it down for the winter, but you know, most of my hives down here, even in the winter, will still keep a little brood. I didn't find any sign of any brood. So when I take them home, I'll set them up in a nuke, and I'll give them a frame of eggs and brood from another hive to, to home them on. It's a good size colony of bees, I think. Probably, you know, at least three to four pounds of bees that have vacuumed up, but no evidence of a queen anywhere. So, got uh, whoop, six buckets, mostly all full of honeycomb. Again, no birds, so if there wasn't honey, it was empty. But they had combs all up in here behind all that. I don't know if you guys can see that. That little gap all the way across was full. And of course, you saw it was all down in here. So big, big hive. Um, we uh, had a neighbor stop by, an old man stop by. He said, you finally turned it down. So no, sir, I'm just here for the bees. But he said, the place has been vacant for um, 10 years. And he said, it's flooded three times. So I don't know. You gotta wonder at that point what a bank's thinking to still hold on to it. But you know what? That's their business, not mine. So anyway, this one's done. Turned out to be a whole heck of a lot more than I thought it would be. but. Everyone on the bench thinks everyone on the challenge, so we're going to get it packed up, cleaned up, when we head home.